Hello. Well, I'm Lorne Brayton. I was born in this house in 1911. And um, lived here until I uh, 26 when I moved out, got married and moved. No, I was 26 years old. <laughs> it was in 37 I moved out. Otherwise, this was my home. These cabinets were put in in the 60s or 70s, and there used to be a door here to go into the pantry until they built the uh, cabinets in. And uh, then they took that door out, and this was in the washroom, and then put a door on the side to get into the pantry. We'll get to that a little later. This is the washroom, and there uh, used to be no door here, but it was on the other side. And we had one window here and one in the uh, pantry. And uh, we, there used to be a door here. We'd come in, hang my clothes, the uh, jacket and cap, up here and down here. If you hang it low here when I was a little fellow, then after a while it got up here when it was bigger. So. <laughs> now the door I mentioned was right here, come in from the kitchen into the uh, uh, pantry. And uh, th this was closed up, this was just a wall there then. I remember up in here, the old coffee grinder used to hang, and we ground many a pounds of coffee in it. And uh, that cabinet and this old uh, flower bin was here when I was a kid. We'd dump a hundred pound bag into here. And then as they use it, they dip it out. So this old cabinet was built when the building was. Well, this is what we always called the dining room. And uh, in the summer, it would be all cleaned out. And in the winter, we'd set a hard coal heater right about in here. And uh, I carried in many buckets of coal, hard coal, to dump into the magazine to keep the fire going. And um, this is, it was a long table here, and that was our dining room table, but we had a long table too in the kitchen. So, of course, there was uh, 13 of us in the family, beside the folks. So uh, we got hungry, plenty hungry. <laughs> And somebody died. And, uh, my grandmother from France died over in the um, other side of the wall here, into that other bedroom, the same size as this. Now this room we always called the parlor, and we had only come in on Sundays or uh, holiday, but no fooling around in here. This was the parlor, and the um, windows there made it pretty light and nice. And there used to be a door right back here, and go out to a porch, a double porch on the west side. There was one uh, floor down here even with this, and then one floor, even with the upstairs, and there was an upstairs door there. So we had a double porch. And uh, 
You want to mention anything about the door that was hanging there? Yes. Now, right here, this door, I've got in my garage now, just laying there. But on the back side, when it was open, and the back was here against the wall, but when it was closed, then you'd read it from this side, and on the panel, it says, um, uh, Burke, M. Burke, when he painted or varnished in here, he used a um, raw potato in the fresh varnish, and then he wrote his name down, up and down this way, and then under it he put 1899. Of course, the house was built in 1898. All right. Now this door here, with the glass and the stained glass around the edge, this was the one that was the front door over there on the in the parlor. And then we got moved out and made an entrance here that we didn't have before. Three doors in here, the one into the front room, and then this one went into the uh, closet, and there was no window there. But uh, we always store the old hard coal heater in here in the summertime, and then there was room for it to hang the clothes. And the one on the other side goes down the basement, and uh, I've been down there many a time. We had potatoes there, we'd go down and get them for a meal. Not only dinner, we had potatoes for breakfast, dinner, and supper. But no potatoes for afternoon lunch. <laughs> when, uh, when we were using the house, there was a door in here, but that had only come in and upstairs. But uh, that come in from the dining room. the dining room and the hall into the other rooms, but uh, this room here was the teacher's room, they always called it. When the teacher boarded here, she'd stay in this room. And there was a door here, which I don't think there is now, and that was to uh, get into that other room there. And, and what about the uh, balcony? door was that yeah there was a door right here to get out and walk on the porch because there was a double porch that so went down on main floor and then this one up here and there was a railing around that porch now this one we almost called the girls' bedroom. That was in this part, and there was a partition there, so that there was another room there. And um, the girls stayed in this one and wherever, like the teacher's room, when the teacher wasn't around. Now this was a closet that was built here way back when the house was built. That was here when I was a kid. What did you keep in that closet? Huh? What, what did you keep in that closet? Uh, bedding, uh, sheets and pillowcases and stuff. That was... Now, this room and the bathroom there were put in afterwards, after I was gone. But this now they use it for a book uh, storage. And then in here was the bathroom. The tub and the shower back there, and the stool and the sink here. And then this window wasn't there then, but they put that in when they built it. Now this 
this was the boys' room. And we, uh, there were seven boys, and we all stayed here, except the older ones are gone when uh, I got around. But it was all seven boys used to stay in here. Beds on this side and beds on that side. This is a pretty good sized room. Yeah, it is. Well, this is the entrance you go going yep. to the basement, and every fall we'd raise potatoes and we'd put a chute down here for the potatoes to roll down and up here set a big uh, sorter and we'd drive up here with a wagon and unload put it into the sorter and then the uh, good ones would roll downstairs and the uh, pickouts and uh, sorts would come out a different spout so uh, that was the way we took care of the potatoes.